install FileZilla FTP server on Windows operating system. We can search FileZilla on Google search unit. You can click over here. It gives you two options, one to download client, the other one is FileZilla server. So we are interested in this server. We can click on this button. Then click again over here, download FileZilla server. Then you can save a file wherever you want to save in, whichever directory you want to save in. I already downloaded it. So I'm going to click on it. Then give permission, yes then click on i agree we are going to leave this default option setting then click next here is asking for destination folder i'm gonna go with the default one then click next over here you can select the which port you want to run on i'm gonna leave this one as the default one okay then click on next and install It will take few minutes. It is completely successfully now close. Now the FTP server is started. It's asking for a password. We have not set the password right now. For we're just gonna click on connect. First, we are going to add a user for this FTP server. You can click on edit, then setting. There's an option for users. Click on it over here on the general. We can add a user. For example, I'm gonna add Tom. It's the name of the user account. Then click okay. After the name we added, we need to add a password for that. So we can check on the password and you can, you can enter a password for it. Then click on OK. Uh, when we create a user, then we can add a, a directory for that user. So I'm going to select this directory, the same one where I download it over here you can click add and see or see download okay then click on okay then we are going to open a command prompt cmd and we type ipconfig and the IP of our machine. You need to scroll down. This is our IP address for our local machine, our local computer. And then it's, I'm going to select this IP, copy it and open in a browser then i have to tap ftp and call forward slash and then i have to give the ip address our computer it's asking for username and password for username i will enter tom and the password that i use for tom now it's showing the download directory that i gave access to it in the ftp server this way you are uh, you can set up your own ftp server